Hello and welcome to this very short video covering the discovery of EMC Networker using EMC Data Protection Advisor version 6. As usual, full documentation is available to cover this topic and should be addressed at the link shown. Before attempting discovery, please ensure that you have the correct licenses installed on the DPA server. These can be managed through Admin, System, Manage Licenses in the DPA server UI. Whilst it is best practice for the DPA agent to be installed on the networker server host, if you are using remote discovery where the DPA agent is not installed on the networker server, there are a number of minor prerequisites. First, a networker client needs to be installed on the remote agent's host. This is because the agent uses commands such as job query and NSR admin. Also, if you are using Networker 7.6 or later and monitoring this remotely, the DPA user and proxy host must be added to the user list of the Networker Administrators group. An example is shown here. And also before starting the Discovery Wizard, you will need to know the resolvable host name or IP address of the Networker server. So let's see how this works. So let's start our journey of discovery with the discovery wizard accessed through the admin system panel. But before we do, let's check the inventory to ensure that our network host LGLBB247 is not visible in the inventory, just to ensure that it hasn't previously been discovered. And we can confirm this. So let's now launch our discovery wizard. and select from the objects to discover a backup application. And of course we shall select EMC Networker in this instance. Selecting a new host, entering the host name of the Networker server, and any known aliases. And this Networker server is on a Windows platform. If we require to use DPA to monitor the performance configuration and status of the host, covering access to CPU, memory, networking etc, reporting of the networker host, we should select host system monitoring in this checkbox. And we shall do so here. With Networker it's best practice to install a DPA collection agent on the host itself and this demonstration will use this process. However, if it is not possible to install an agent on the host, perhaps for local policy reasons, then a data collection agent on an alternate host may be selected from a drop-down list, if available. If you are considering using DPA for host monitoring, please pause and review the table shown, as not all operating system and network combinations are permissible. Here, a reminder is given to install the data collection agent, and we shall close this message. If in the previous screen we selected to discover an existing host with a DPA agent installed, then we may test connectivity at this point. As we do not have a DPA agent installed on the networker host, we shall be doing this shortly. Our networker server has been successfully discovered and will by default be placed in the Configuration Servers Backup Servers EMC Networker group. You will note that at the bottom of this panel, there is a section where you may select the destination group, but for the moment, we'll stick with the default. Optionally, you may select various custom attributes depending upon the application being selected. In this instance, we show six custom attributes, but for the moment, we'll leave these unpopulated, as this is not a mandatory requirement for discovery. Our discovery configuration is now complete, and when we click Finish, the discovery job will run. We may now discover further objects or close the discovery wizard. Returning now to our inventory, we can in fact see the inclusion of LGLBB247, our networker host, in the networker group listing. So let's now expand out the EMC networker group, locate our newly discovered networker server and expand the content. You will note that we can, in fact, expand out LGLBB247 and see the network application. However, if you compare this with the expansion of the Amazon server, 
there's something missing. Specifically, we can't see any backup clients, and we know there are some. Do you remember the prompt to install a DPA agent on the networker server following discovery? Let's go ahead and do that very quickly. Turning then to our inventory, we can now see that there is a full complement of components listed under our newly discovered networker server. Moving then straight into reports, let's see what activity we can find for all backup jobs over the last day for this server for client LGLBB039. And we are presented with a listing of those jobs within the specified period, both successful and failed. So we have now successfully discovered our first networker server and we can move on and repeat the process as many times as we wish for our remaining server fleet. Thank you for watching.